Hello friends in this video we are going to discuss how can we update data into MySQL table with bootstrap modal by using PHP script with Ajax query without page refresh. In previous video tutorial on bootstrap modal we have show how to insert data into MySQL table by using bootstrap modal with PHP script with Ajax query. The main use of bootstrap modal we can do any type of database operation like insert, update, fetch and delete or display any message without opening of new page but we can do this type things on page in the form of pop up alert box. We can call this bootstrap modal by click on anchor tag or any button by using query code or we can also show bootstrap modal window by defining data attribute and element. Now we have start discussing update of MySQL data through bootstrap modal, this is our testing database and in this database we have employee table with table column like id, name, address, gender, designation and age. In previous we have show inserting of data into this employee table by using bootstrap modal but in this video we will update this table data by using bootstrap modal. This is our index.php page and on this page in previous video we have fetch employee data in HTML table with two column like employee name and view, in employee name column we have display name of employee and in view column we have create view button when we have click on this view button then we can show all information of employee in bootstrap modal and above this employee table data we have create one add button. We can add new employee data by clicking on this add button, when we have click on this add button bootstrap modal with insert data form has been appeared with bootstrap modal, we can fill that form and we can enter employee details into employee table through bootstrap modal. Now in this video first we have add one more column between this two table column for edit employee details. So between this two column we have write open and close table head tag with width 15 percentage with text like edit. In this column we want to display edit button for all employee, so in while loop we have write open and close table data tag and between this tag we have write input type is equal to button with attribute name is equal to edit value is equal to edit and it is equal to open and close php tag and between this tag we have write echo statement with dollar row it variable and class is equal to edit data. This way we have create edit button for all employee and here we have store employee in it attribute and we will use this class attribute edit data and query code as selector and from it attribute we will get it of particular employee. Now we have moved to write query code for edit employee data, when we have click on edit button then at that time bootstrap modal has been appeared on web page with employee details in form. So for this we have write dollar document with on method and in this method we have write click event with selector edit data class of edit button with function. Under this first we have write variable employee it is equal to dollar this dot attribute method with it attribute as argument. In this employee id variable we will store employee id get from id attribute by using attribute method and here we will get particular employee id by using this selector. After getting employee id now we want to get employee details from this employee and display this details under bootstrap modal with form. So here we have define ajax method. So we have write dollar Ajax method and in this method first we have define URL option set to fetch.php. We have send request it to this page. Under this method we have write method set to post. Here we have set post method for sending data to the server. After this which data you want to send to the server. So here we have write data option employee id. Here we want to send employee data to the server with Ajax request.
After this we have data type to JSON, here we want to receive data from server in JSON format. Last in AJAX method request we have write success callback function, when request sends successfully then this function has been called and in this function we will receive data from server in function data argument, here we will data in JSON format from server because we have defined JSON data type in our AJAX request. In previous video on bootstrap modal, we have already created bootstrap modal with a dad data modal and in modal we have create one HTML form for inserting employee data, so in this modals form we want to display particular employee data and form field. In this Ajax request we have received data from server in JSON format. So for displaying employee name under text box with name so we have write dollar text box id name dot value method and under this method we have write data dot name. Here name from data dot name is the table column of employee table. This will display employee name under name text box. Then after we have write dollar with text area id address with value method and under this method we have write data dot address. This will display address under address text area field and form. After this we have write dollar with select box id gender with value method and under this method we have write data dot gender. This will set gender value on gender select box field in form. Then after we have write dollar with text box id designation with value method and under this method we have write data dot designation. This will show employee designation under designation text box field in form. After this we have write dollar with text box id age with value method and under this method we have write data dot age. This will display age under text box age field in form. For storing employee id in form for update of particular employee data. So in modal form we have create one hidden field for storing employee id. So here we have write input type is equal to hidden with attribute name is equal to employee id and it is equal to employee id. Now for storing employee id into hidden field, so we have write dollar with hidden field at employee id with value method and under this method we have write data dotted. This will store employee id into hidden field with name employee id in form. Now we want to change the name of submit button current its name is name but when modal appear on web with employee data field and form field for update data then at time submit button name must be update. So for we have write dollar with button it insert dot value method and under this method we have define update this code will display update text on submit button. Lastly we have write dollar with modal id add data modal with modal method with show, by this code will show bootstrap modal on web page with form element field with filled employee data. Now we have moved to write PHP code for fetch particular employee data and fetch.php page, so on this page. First we have make database connection, after making database connection we have write if statement with condition like set function with argument like dollar post employee id variable. This condition will check value of this variable has been set or not. If value of this variable has been set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write query variable is equal to select star from employee table where it is equal to dollar post employee id. Here we have get value of employee id from Ajax request and this query will select employee data of this employee id variable value. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string which is dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute this query and store result into this result variable. After this we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with argument like dollar result variable. This function will convert query result to associative array and store into this dollar row variable. 
so we have store employee data and the staller row variable and associative array. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. So for we have write JSON encode function with argument dollar row. This function will convert associative array to JSON string and send this converted data to Ajax request and in Ajax request we have already set all this data into modal form fields. So we have saved this code on checkout put in browser. Friends you can see that when we have click on this edit button then bootstrap modal has been pop on web page with filled form with particular employee details. Here we have also shown submit button name has been changed from insert to update. So when we have click on this button then, this data has been update in my SQL table. So for this we have to move write some PHP code under insert.php file which we have create in previous video for inserting employee data. Under this file here we have write if statement with condition like dollar $post employee aid variable not equal to blank. This code will check if employee aid variable has some then it will execute if block of code but if it has no value then it will execute else block of code. Here employee aid is the hidden field and form which we have add for storing value of employee aid for update particular employee data. If this employee aid variable has no value that means we want to insert some data so it will execute else block and in this block we have put insert query which we have already created in our previous video. But suppose employee aid variable has some value that means we have store employee aid into this hidden employee aid variable, so it will execute if block of code and under this we want to write query for update data, so in this block we have write query variable is equal to update employee table set name is equal to dollar name variable, address is equal to address variable, gender is equal to dollar gender variable. Designation variable is equal to dollar designation variable, age is equal to dollar age variable where is equal to dollar post employee aid variable. So our update query is ready for update particular employee data according to this dollar employee aid variable. If dollar post employee aid variable has some value then it will execute if block of code and in this block we have create update data query and store into dollar query variable but if dollar post employee aid variable has no value then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have create insert query which store into dollar query variable. Now we have create dollar message variable is equal to blank and an if block we have write dollar message variable is equal to data updated and an else block of code we have write dollar message variable is equal to data inserted message. Below this code which we have already created in our previous video for execute dollar query variable query and after execute query we have fetched data from employee table for showing on web page. Under this code here have removed data inserted and write dollar message variable for showing data inserted or updated message on web page. And after this in this code we want to add one more table column for displaying edit button under HTML table so here we have write open and close table heading tagged with text like edit. In this column we want to display edit button for all employee, so in while loop we have write open and close table data tag and between this tag we have write input type is equal to button with attribute name is equal to edit value is equal to edit and id is equal to echo statement with dollar row id variable and class is equal to edit data. This way we have create edit button for all employee and here we have store employee aid in it attribute and we will use this class attribute edit data and query code as selector and from it attribute we will get it of particular employee. Now friends our code is ready for update data through bootstrap modal by using PHP script with Ajax and query, so I have saved this code on check output in browser. 
friends you can see that employee data like employee named with edit and view button in HTML table when we have click on edit button then bootstrap modal has appeared on web page with HTML form filled with particular employee details. From here we can change employee details and by click on update button then particular employee data will be updated and we can show updated data by click on view button. Here we have use Ajax jQuery and by jQuery we have get employee aid from edit button. We have create all employee separate edit button with different it and in the set we have store employee aid and by using jQuery code we have get employee aid from button and by using Ajax we have fetch that employee aid data from database and then after we have display that data into bootstrap modal HTML form field and in HTML form we can change data and by clicking on update button we can update data into MySQL database by by using Ajax request method. So friends if you like this video tutorial, please share this video tutorial with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.